Hello, I'm Pastor Keith Mazingo of Metropolitan Community Church of Baton Rouge. I want to thank you for clicking on the video of our worship message. Please go to our Facebook page at facebook.com slash mccbr to see the entire worship service, including prayers, special music, and communion. You're also welcome to join us every Sunday morning at 11 a.m. for worship service. Stay tuned after the message for information on how you can stay in touch with us. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. Our scripture reading is from Matthew chapter 5, verses 1 through 12. When Jesus saw his ministry drawing huge crowds, he climbed the hillside. Those who were apprenticed to him, the committed, climbed with him. Arriving at a quiet place, he sat down and taught his climbing companions. This is what he said. You're blessed when you're at the end of your rope. With, le with less of you, there is more of God and God's rule. You're blessed when you feel you've lost what is most dear to you. Only then can you be embraced by the one most dear to you. You're blessed when you're content with just who you are, no more, no less. That's the moment you find yourselves proud owners of everything that can't be bought. You're blessed when you've worked up a good appetite for God. God's food and drink is the blessed, best meal you'll ever eat. You're blessed when you care. At the moment of being careful, you'll find yourselves cared for. You're blessed when you get your inside world, your mind, and your heart put right. Then you can see God in the outside world. You're blessed when you can show people how to cooperate instead of compete or fight. That is when you discover who you really are and your place in God's family. You're blessed when your commitment to God provokes persecution. The persecution drives you even deeper into God's kingdom. Not only that, count yourselves blessed every time people put you down or throw you out or speak lies about you to discredit me. What it means is that the truth is too close for comfort and they are uncomfortable. You can be glad when that happens, give a cheer even, for though they don't like it, I do, and all heaven applauds. And know that you are in good company. My prophets and witnesses have always gotten into this kind of trouble. Hear what the Spirit says today. Thank you, God. And now the excitement. <laughs> For me, would you please welcome Together Bless. Amen. Thank you for having us. That, that picture was a while ago, can you tell? Yeah. <laughs> uh, we, we've gained in some things and lost some things. and I think hair would be one thing. Hair. Amen. So we're going to sing a song to start off, and, and it, it's, a, it's a song with a, a simple set of words called, I'm a friend of God. And so uh, it repeats lots. So we want you to join us. As soon as, you, as you've got it, the I am a friend of God, just jump on in and join us and sing, especially that fabulous praise team. Here we go.
having us. It's true that I've known Reverend Keith for uh, over 25 years. I was three and he was four when we met. Toddlers <laughs> <laughs> together. And obviously, both both grew up with piano skills, because I know you've heard him play. Yes. So Reverend Keith is the only guy I know who can play a hymn and hit all the keys twice in the course of one song. He's an amazing, amazing pianist. So happy to have uh, Keith in my life for all these years. He's been there at some really crucial times for me. So um, we just want to invite you, you know, Sunday is a time when we can praise and worship. And what's that? What, and what that means is that we can get filled up, right? We can get blessed in all the ways that we saw in the scripture, but we can just get filled up. Because I don't know about you, but sometimes my weeks empty me out of all the goodness and the mindfulness and the blessedness that I feel. And I need Sunday to come and be able to just get filled up once again. And so we are so excited to be here with you today. And um, we just, you know, we all worship in different ways. Some of us are quiet. Some of us are loud <laughs> in the ways that we worship. Some of us stay silent. Some of us make noise. Some of us meditate. So however you feel comfortable is what we want you just to experience today. But just to relax and know that you are blessed in so many ways. And so we hope that God will speak to you through our song and word today. We chose the, the, uh, the Beatitudes, you're blessed when, because we love that. We, and we love that translation, that message translation. One of the things it says you're, is that you're blessed when you're at the end of your rope. I, I, there's a poster with a kitten that says, when you're at the end of your rope, tie a knot and hang on. You know, and oftentimes we feel that way. But one thing I've learned is that when I'm at the end of my rope, I'm most, I'm most empty for God to use me. Yeah. So God can, can fill us, but we have to be open and available. And sometimes it takes getting to the end of, to the bottom, to the very bottom, to the end of our ropes, for us to just be, okay, full, just have that space for God to fill us and God to use us once again. That's what this song is about. Thank you. 
There is no 
your heart right, and then you can see God in the outside world. I know from being at my church, Founders MCC, we've been going through um, a very big transitional time. We might call, some of us might call it a church split that we're going through, and we're trying to come out of it. <laughs> and uh, every party is important. Um, and during that time, it's has been so important for us to get ourselves together because we can't be together unless we have ourselves together. Some of us have been around, have been with each other for many years, and sometimes in MCC, once we've been together for many years, you you, and you get used to each other's ways. You begin to not be able to hear each other's stories. And a lot of times I think it's because we don't we don't have our minds and hearts right. And that happens again and again. We have to constantly do that, make sure our minds and hearts are right. And then when they're right and we're content, then we can hear the other person's story and we can agree or agree to disagree. Or we can continue on our journey. That's really important for us to remember and that God says that we're blessed when we get our insides our mind and heart together. Uh, we're going to sing a song that talks about that. It talks about God as the potter. It's an old gospel song. It's one that uh, Reverend, Keith might, Reverend Pentecostal might get up and uh, <laughs> dance to.
you know, we, uh, there was a time, there was a time that I remember a couple times um, when I was, was traveling, when I was young, and I was traveling in uh, North in the North Carolina area. At that time, Reverend Keith was the pastor at, or interim pastor or something, at Winston-Salem, MCC of Winston-Salem at that time, and, and, and he had invited uh, my then singing partner, David, and myself to come sing, and so we left uh, Raleigh to drive out to Winston-Salem for the concert, and we got stuck in major traffic. And we were almost an hour late to the concert. And so, bless his heart, Reverend Keith, we walked in the back door an hour late, and he had played every hymn and hymn all. <laughs> <laughs> and he was keeping those people there until we could get there to sing. And so he, he really came through for me. Another time, uh, I had come through a rough time and had not been in MCC for a while and had stopped singing. All together, stopped playing and singing all together. Came back to, to MCCLA and uh, he was on staff and invited me to sing. Um, and I said, Oh, no, I, I don't do that anymore. Um, and he said, Oh, okay, oh, come on, you can do it. And I was very afraid. And he prayed for me and called me to church and I started singing because singing again because of Reverend Keith. So I'm so grateful. <laughs> this verse in their reunion today. Uh, um, where it says, not only that God himself, lest every time you take the food down or carry it out, you will speak like God. Streaming, right? Okay. <laughs> that was me. That wasn't. That wasn't that screen. Anyway, I'm saying um, I love that part of the of the reading because it says you're blessed every time people put you down or throw you out or speak lies about you to discredit you. Now, isn't that a familiar story for a lot of us? People even tell us that we can't come to church. Don't get me started. <laughs> Thank God it's the last one. I'm saying the reason why I love that reading is because we are a testament of that being a lie. Because we have a place in church. Amen. 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 We are the church and we have a place in this church. And the work is still needed. Yeah. You know, back in the day, back in the day of Reverend Keith and Jane, when I wasn't born. <laughs> I heard stories. <laughs> Seriously, I love hearing the stories of the early MCC, the, the, the beginning of the early church of MCC, because it, it empowered me, it inspired me, and then, what is it, almost 50 years? The people of my generation, most of us, the rest of the room, of course, sorry, Jane, I'm um, we, we often wonder, what's next? What else do we need to do? You know, our churches everywhere, there are MCCs in different countries now. In fact, there are five in the Philippines where I'm from. Um, and, so, and so some of us wonder, what is next for MCC, right? Where do we, where is the next, where's the future heading? And let me tell you, right here in our own backyard, still, we still need to do the work of God. Yeah. We, still, we are still all called to be the messengers. The people who, what does it say here? The prophets and witnesses that have gotten in trouble in God's name. Yep. That's us. That's right. And let's not be discouraged because there are so many more of us out there who don't know that MCC exists. So there's still work to be done. And so this is a call for the work. If you hear this message wherever you stand, call in every woman, call in every man for the generation to wait. The future started yesterday. We're already late. We've been looking for a song to sing. Search for the melody. Search for someone to lead. We've been looking for the world to change. If you feel the same, go on and say if you're out there. Sing along with me if you're 
Again, thank you for watching our worship message video on YouTube. Subscribe to our YouTube channel to get notified of other video posts. You can also watch our worship service in its entirety by going to facebook.com slash mccbr. You can watch us live on Facebook at 11 a.m. Central every Sunday. Visit our webpage at mccbr.org where you can find our calendar of events as well as other information about our church and our denomination. Like our Facebook page so you can be notified of our other live events. Thank you again and may you have a blessed week. Whether here and now or another time, not even height or depth, whether strong or weak, in the face of the future or the powers that be, you are not separated.